textile artist Porfirio Gutierrez is a descendant of the Zapotecs, an ancient civilization originating in southern Mexico. These are pieces that are, um, could be used as a um, centerpiece, a wall uh, art, or actually as rug. He and his family still create their handwoven crafts using the time-honored techniques of their ancestors. He describes them as functional art that's inspired by the natural world. One of my memories as a child is walk up into the mountains above the hill to collect the plants that my parents needed for making their dyes, almost like a pilgrimage. They would tell us about the respect that we need to have our, to, uh, towards our Mother Earth, as well as where the plants are growing, what are the colors that they give us, and what are the, the, the time to collect them. Uh, these ways of making colors and making an authentic uh, piece, it's disappearing. So I feel like I need to uh, contribute into the preservation, and the only way to preserve it is to actually employ these old ways of making the arts. Gutierrez's textiles were among the hundreds of handcrafted artworks on display at the Native American Art Market and the Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian in Washington. They represent traditional and contemporary works by more than 30 Native artists from North America. Like Gutierrez, many of the artists are inspired by nature. Traditional jeweler Jane Myers, for example, uses elk teeth and buffalo bone for some of her pieces. Each elk has two ivory teeth, so I do these necklaces, and then I also, they have buffalo bone beads. I try to use all the same items that we used as uh, traditional Native people 200 years ago. Visual artist Kathleen Wall digs clay from the land around Jemez Pueblo in New Mexico to make her signature dolls. This piece here in particular, she is um, hand built from the bottom up and I use a coil technique. And of course I dig up my clay and I start from the bottom, I coil and I keep coiling. After the coiling is done, I let it dry, scrape it, um, sand it, and then I use a kiln for firing. This is the Sun Father. The museum has been holding the annual event since 2006. But we're hoping that people will take away from this experience is just a realization of the contributions of Native people to the Americas. They were here first, they've always been here, they've gone through a lot of adversity, and they are still thriving, strong, creative cultures. And the art represented in this market doesn't just reflect the beauty and rich history of Native cultures, but the strength and resilience of the people themselves. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.